Good morning, and welcome back to Pammy Locks with Love. I know that I recently posted a video showing you how to navigate through www.pammylockswithlove74.com. So now I'm going to break it down a little bit because I do get a lot of questions um, and I'm not sure why I get the questions. So just to make it very clear how you can get the answers to a lot of the questions that I do get. Most of the questions that I get are service questions and cost of said services. So I'm going to navigate you through my service page that's on PamiLocksWithLove74.com. Um, or PLWL for short. What I'm going to do is again present and share my screen so that we can navigate through that page together. And I'm going to instruct and tell you how you can find out the descriptions, full descriptions of what that service entails. So you don't have to contact me multiple times of you know, prior to your appointment to say, oh, does my service include this? Because I'm going to need that done and so on and so forth. With the details of the service, you know what your options are. So that way you can put in the notes below if you want, for example, um, <clears throat> excuse me, crochet braids. If you want crochet braids, there are two options. You have it where you come with your hair already cleansed and I will take the rest from there as far as stretching out your hair and doing your braid pattern and, and installation. And the second is full service, which includes everything, getting your hair washed, conditioned, dried, braid pattern and installation. Of course, that's going to, there's going to be an upcharge for full service. And all of that is written in the description. So I'm going to show you how to um, be able, have the ability to fully view all of the description, right? Prior to sending a request for booking. Oftentimes people um, are so excited about wanting to book that they immediately push a uh, request to booking. And when you do that, you don't have the opportunity to see extras that I had included within the website. Some of them even has like small photo galleries of examples of what that service entails and so on and so forth. So we're going to navigate through the services page on my website. You have two ways to access it. You can get it from the main bar that's on the home page or if you scroll down after reading my small bio, there's a booking link below that. And then there's a third option. I also have a direct booking link um, in my bio link tree on my Instagram page, on my Facebook business page, as well as this YouTube page. If you look in the banner on my um, homepage or what is that here on, on YouTube? You know, when you go to my, when you are subscribed to me, you go to my channel, the bar on the top, there's a link tree on the bottom right corner. So you can also click the link tree there and it'll take you directly to my booking page on the website. So I'm going to set up to present to you by sharing my screen and we're going to navigate through my services page here. Present, share screen. Okay, we got it. We're going to share. Okay, so I should be up, right? I should be right here on the side. And, you know, over here should be generally where my website is. So, Welcome back to Family Locks with Love 74.com. This pink bar across the top, of course, is the menu bar. Right? So 
It's already highlighted on home. The second option that I have it up top is the Made for Locks products. My, that goes right directly to my affiliate page as I um, explained in my last navigation, just taking you through my site. And then the more, and when you move the cursor to more, the drop menu comes down automatically. You don't have to press click or anything. And the very top one is book online. But we're not going to enter through here because I need you to see the second option from the homepage that you can go to book services with me. So, and that part of my voice is still trying to make its way back. So if you scroll down, you'll see more information, starting with my business card up here, um, welcoming you to the page, followed by a brief um, bio, right? And here at the bottom of the bio, just beneath the bio, you'll see the link where you can book right here, right? So we're going to book and it directly takes you to my service page. Now on my service page, immediately at the very top, you'll see a small video of me. It's playing on a loop. Basically saying, that if you click this little note here at the bottom on the right corner, and you click it. I'm working on my website right now. So that is basically telling you, I'm not going to say basically, that's a filler word. This message is being conveyed to you to inform you that all of my policies are written in these white squares here in plain sight um, for you to read through. And please read them because so that there's no confusion as to what my policies are. Um, we, I put them here because there has been conversations in the past of, oh, well, I didn't know that. But it's there. And you'll see what I mean when I say it's there. Because on every single one of the service page, um, pages that pops up, at the very bottom, you will see a full list of all the policies always there. But I wanted to make sure that you're always going to see the policies. So there's no problems. There's no confusion. And we're on the same page. Um, so it is a requirement, one of the requirements for the new client consultation to read these policies and to sign your name followed by yes. So it's clear that you did read them, you understand them, and you agree with them, right? So there's no confusion. Um, now, here at the bottom where it was talking about COVID illness or any communicable illnesses such as colds, flu, and so on and so forth, please don't show up wearing a mask saying, I, I'm sick, but I have my mask on that makes no difference. It can contaminate my workspace as well as my home. So please do not show up. Contact me and when you click contact stylist, it immediately takes you to email me. My email is already pre-amped as you see here. And you just need, and it already has the subject, sick protocol for rescheduling. So basically you're going to let me know and I will get back to you within a reasonable time, less than 24 hours, of course, um, giving you information and we'll discuss when it's possible to reschedule your appointment. But please do not show up sick. Okay. Um, same thing over here, this link for the no call, no show, not no call show, no show, but the wait list. If you want to be considered for waitlist in case someone um, cancels at the last minute, if you are a member on the website, you can click this link here and it immediately takes you here where you can join Pammy Locks with Love on Spaces by Wix and get the app on your phone. When you have the app on your phone, it allows you to do all of the things that you wanna do, such as making appointments, 
You'll be able to keep track of loyalty points and all of those things. And yes, you can redeem your loyalty points to get discounts for future appointments. You cannot share your loyalty points with other clients. They are for you and for you only. Um, so this is how you will be able to do that. You're just simply going to enter your telephone number here. You press send. And from there, it goes on. It's available in the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store. Okay. I'm going to close that. And again, you have to be an official member of Pammy Locks with love in order to have access to the app for the app as well as be able to get loyalty points and all of those things. If you are not a member, you are not entitled to those things. Um, also, make sure if you refer me to another client, do not extend my telephone number to them. Just give them the website. All of my contact information is on the website. With the exception of my telephone number, people tend to take advantage of Non-clients tend to take advantage of telephone numbers and call and text on and on and on. As I spoke before, there is a Let's Chat feature right here on the website. So if you need to contact me, that is the way to contact me. Um, my website does inform me when I have um, a client or a potential client that has questions that needs to be answered. That is the way to contact me. Okay. So a lot of people are like, oh, y'all act like you're hiding. Mm, no, but we are entitled to our privacy. And um, so you have to, I have to protect myself. And that's one of my boundaries. Now, once you become a client, eventually phone numbers do get exchanged because sometimes I send you texts and things like that. However, yeah initial contact no please do not give my telephone number to people okay now we're going to go down into the service section of the service page now at the very top you will see this is another question i get from people pammy what are your hours when are you available they are up here i work on a seven day basis i take days off as needed OK, um, and I do take myself out of the calendar way in advance. I'm not the person that if I have somebody booked and I'm like, I don't feel like working today and I cancel on you. I'm not that person. If I have an appointment booked for the day, I'm going to honor that appointment. But if I wanted a day off and I saw there was a date that was open where no bookings, I will remove that day from the calendar. So when. Someone goes in to try a book an appointment, they cannot. So that's how I take days off. And I don't need to cancel on people or disrespect people in order for me to have time. If I'm going on vacation, I inform you well in advance. As I'm approaching my vacation, it's usually for a period of a month leading up to my vacation. If you, are, if you are looking to book an appointment, I'm going to be on vacation from this day to this day. Make sure you book either before or after that time period. I will not be available during this time period while I, because I'm on vacation. Um, once in the past, it was last year, I made this announcement. I was going on vacation. I try to go on vacation at times during off seasons where it's not such a high peak, like late fall and stuff like that. Sometimes other times of the year, but last year it was late fall. And a client decided that it was okay for them to, for lack of better words, send me messages asking me questions about their hair. And I respectfully and kindly replied, I'm on vacation right now. I'll talk to you when I get back. And they was like, well, I, it was just a quick question. I'm on vacation right now. I will speak with you when I get back. If I'm on vacation, please respect my time. Do not contact me while I'm on vacation. 
If you have any questions, ask before I go or hold them until I return. I'm a stickler for respecting people's time, so please do that. And I do the same in return, of course. Moving down, it says that my hours are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I do not work early hours. I'm not a morning person. I'm not a friendly person in the morning. And I openly and honestly share that information because I don't want anyone to feel discomfort I, I know that I've, sh I've said this before. You should never want somebody in that's in the bad energy, on a bad mood, that's just not in a great mood. And I, I again, I'm just not a morning person. I appreciate the sunrise and things like that, but those are things I appreciate in my own company. Um, I'm not great company early in the morning because I've never been a morning person. I'm a night owl by nature. So... 10 a.m. is my version of 5 and 6 a.m. to you, okay? And my shift is eight hours. Most of my services are within that time, so it's reasonable. Um, Sundays, my hours is 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. That is because, again, I'm a home-based business. My family is very cooperative with me in staying out of the way when I have clients. And I don't want to invade on them by having people come in early on a Sunday. You know, and I end early on a Sunday because, of course, I still have to prepare dinner after I'm done working for the day. And I would like to have dinner ready no later than 6.30. So, yeah, 5 p.m. is my cutoff on Sundays. After going through all of that, that answers the question of my availability. Also, before I move on, when it comes down to the question of, of availability. Now, for the sake of that, I'm just going to click on request to book for now just so you understand what my availability are is. So say you want to book a new client consultation and you want to know, well, when is she available? I don't know when she's available or what day she has open. Click request to book. When you click request to book and you scroll down, a whole calendar pops up in front of you. Now you see, Today is August 29th. There's nothing available because you cannot book appointments less than 24 hours in advance. So that is why today is closed. And no, that does not mean you can contact me and say, I know your policy says the latest I can book is 24 hours, but is any possibility you can squeeze me in today? I do not do same day, last minute appointments. So no. Okay, um, the dates that you see here, when you see a pink dot beneath it, those are dates that are available. So I'm going to click on tomorrow. As for tomorrow, 10 a.m., 10.30, and 11 a.m. are now closed because it's less than 24 hours away. However, 11.30 to 2.30 is open. Okay. So you can book any of those slots for your appointment. That shows what my availability is. You don't have to contact me to ask me when am I available. As soon as you request to book, the calendar will pop up. If I go a month ahead to September, all of these days with the dots on them, are my available dates. So you now see the entire month of September is open and available for booking appointments. Now, just because you see a dot on every day doesn't mean the entire day is open. Some of these days already have some, some appointments booked, but there's a slot for another appointment in those days. So that is how you will see it. Now, my calendar 
is open 40 days in advance. So a few days into October should already be available to book appointments as well, going all the way into the 13th. So 45 days is open in advance. So that's how far ahead you can book appointments. I urge you to book as far ahead as possible and make sure that the date that you select for your appointment, you will be able to keep that appointment. Do not create the habit of canceling last minute or rescheduling last minute, especially if your rescheduling date is more than three days from the original date, because that is considered a cancellation for me. All right. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back. Oops, I went all the way back. <laughs> I went too far back. You know why? Because I wasn't patient and letting it know. So we're back here. So oh, that answers the questions about availability. The second question that comes up is, um, how do I know what this service includes. So as you saw when I pressed book a request, request, uh, um, is it book a request? What does it say? Request to book. Book a request. <laughs> request to book. You didn't see any descriptions at all regarding the service, right? The reason for that is because you're not going to see it in the booking. I did. I purposely did, did that so that you will be able to see and read what's available to you before requesting a booking. Oftentimes, people jump that hurdle and go straight to request, right? And what happened is, what happens is, that's when all the questions come in. Well. What does the service include? What do I need to do? Do I need to pay a deposit or this? You know, and I get it, you know, but this website is not going anywhere. You have the ability and the capability to take your sweet time. And if you're on the move, that's why it's really good to just sign up and become a member and get the app. You can browse through the app while you're on the train traveling and things like that and get to know each service. So how do you find out the description of the service? Rather than clicking on this, the requested book, you have the option of two, you have two options. You can click on the words that describe what the service is or the picture icon. So let's go to new client console, which is required first. And beneath that, there's a small description. Now with new client console, it says advanced payment required for a consultation. So you have to pay in advance for a new client consultation. That is the only time where you are required to pay upfront for that. Okay. Because even though you may have made an appointment for next week, I still have to prepare prior to that. So my services had already started and therefore you have to pay up front when you request to be booked for a new client consultation. Okay. So if you click on the icon picture, it takes you to the description page. Client consultation and in parenthesis, I put required because that is required for all new clients. Even if you are uh, potential, a potential new lock client and you already have locks in your hair, you're still new to me. You're still a new client to me. And therefore, yeah, okay. So the services here says all new clients are required to book a consultation before booking an in-person appointment to start our journey together. An upfront payment will be required prior to approval. And next you will be sent two emails the first is a conf uh, confirmation of your appointment 
which will include the Zoom link for your consultation. And second, an email will be sent personally for me, Pammy, um, a questionnaire for you, for you to fill out. And please answer the questions as best as you can with detail prior to your appointment, prior. You have to do it prior to the appointment. Don't, 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 we're not gonna go over it while we're on the call. That's gonna delay the timing of the call. It has to be sent to me in advance because if some answers requires me um, bringing up information to share with you in regards to, for example, one of the questions talks about products that you may use. I may need to do additional research on that product so that you understand why it is or may not be a good idea to use that particular brand. You know, so I need you to send that back to me prior to your appointment so that I can do the research and information gathering on my side to make sure I give you the best service possible, right? Um, this will give you the time that you need it and we'll be able to get everything covered within that um, amount of time. Consultation fees must be paid in advance. You can use Cash App or I can send you um, an invoice via PayPal. You can pay, pay it credit card or via PayPal link. It's up to you. Um, and so on. Now, I have made it a habit now to just create and generate um, an invoice on PayPal and send it directly after receiving the request. And you decide from there if you want to send it cash app. My, my cash app is right here at the bottom. It's simply family locks with love seven four you know, with the dollar sign in front and yeah. Okay. And my face is there. So <laughs> look at me. Hi. <laughs> so yeah. And my email address that's connected to the PayPal is Pamela Lawson 039 at gmail.com. So that's also down here. Now, remember when I said the cancellation policies and all of that stuff is at the bottom of every single service that I have on here. If you continue to scroll down, all of those policies that's in those little boxes are right here in front of you. See that? Okay. Every single one of them. At the very bottom, you see my email address and show that I'm a home-based business here in the Bronx, New York. Okay. I do not put my address on my website for obvious reasons, okay? No, I'm not hiding from anybody. So, you know, you have I, there's a lot of manipulators out there that wanna have their way that will try to gaslight you into thinking that you're doing something wrong. And again, it's about boundaries and protecting, okay? Now, that's how you find out the details um, the services. As I said before, there are a number of services, number of services that's posted here. Some of them are seasonal. We'll talk more about that once we get to the bottom of the service page. Now I'm going to take you into some of the service pages that may have galleries inside. Okay. So this is one of them that has, if you go to the crochet style over a cornbread pattern, Again, if you click on the icon, it takes you directly to the description page. Now, if you decide that you want to book, then you don't have to click to go back. You can just scroll back to the top of the page and request to book, right? But first you read through all of the descriptions. And as you see, there's detailed information on the crochet page, okay? And I give you brief information on why protective styles are a great option. The service fee does not include wash and dry, okay? So the fee that I have posted for this is $120. That doesn't include washing and drying. That's just for the installation, okay? And that does not include the cost of what you pay for your hair either. So full service includes wash and dry, and it's available for an additional $30. So it'll be $150 if you want to get 
everything done. Wash, dry, spray pattern, installation, okay? That's gonna be 150 plus the cost of what you pay for the hair, okay? Purpose of a crochet style, and I go into what the purpose of crochet or protective styles. Protective styles are specifically to design, specifically designed to protect the ends of your hair, the ends of your hair, okay? Um, keeping them healthy to help your hair to remain healthy and grow successfully without excess breakage due to dryness and damage, all right? To achieve this, it may be necessary to trim off damaged ends prior to installing the braid pattern. So I'm giving you information in advance before you sit in a chair. I do remind you once you are here that once I'm ready to start doing your under braid pattern, if I see significant damage to split ends, I would suggest you might want to clip these ends before installing this because if these ends are damaged, they're going to continue to become more damaged. It's not going to stop it because you have a protective style in. That's not how protective styles work. So if you have damage and split and dry and dead ends, think about a plant leaf. If you see a brown piece on there, most um, people will tell you that that a plant people will tell you you have to cut off that part. Otherwise, it will spread and the whole leaf will die. The same thing happens to your hair. If you don't cut off the dead or damaged part, it will affect the whole strand and go further up the shaft of your hair. So it may be, you know, to achieve this, it may be necessary to trim off damaged ends prior to installing the braid. This is included as part of the service. So I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to have to trim your ends. That's going to cost you another $25. No, that's included in the service. So I trim as necessary. So it's a part of the service. I'm not going to charge you extra to, to trim your damaged or split ends. Installment, installation of crochet braids consists of a braid pattern to protect your hair and to attach synthetic hair of your choice for styling via crochet method. Your braid pattern is determined by how you plan to style your hair. So sometimes if you want to just keep wearing your hair up in a bun, um, the braid pattern that I choose will be accommodated, accommodating for that. If you want it to be universal where you can wear it up or down, that's a different braid pattern and so on and so forth. Okay, if you want, um, the hair bought for you at your expense. In other words, if you want me to buy it on your behalf, please add it to your notes when you book the service. So there's a little notes section on the bottom of your request form when you are requesting to book a, a, an appointment. Please put down here and in that notes, please, I would like for you to purchase the hair for me. Um, and you can either send the funds to me Again, via Cash App or PayPal, um, which is written on here, right? So request this service and you can be made. It has to be no less than three days in advance. I need time to make sure that it gets shipped in enough time, okay? So if you're trying to come to see me in two days and you're like, I want you to get the hair, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, especially if I have other appointments. I won't have time to go and purchase it, okay? Um, the session will take approximately three hours to complete. Sometimes it's, most times it's less than that. Um, but guesstimate, depending on the person, how much hair they have and things like that, it's, no, it's not going to be, it's not going to exceed three hours. But again... Most of the time, it's less than that. Um, there will be an additional time added if you choose to upgrade to full service because that's going to take extra time to wash, detangle, dry, okay? Um, Prepayment for hair purchase, please send payments of $60 to your stylist making the purchase for you. And then, again, you can use Cash App or PayPal. A receipt for purchase will be provided and the balance, if any, will be deducted from 
the fee that you pay for the styling. So for example, if you sent me $60 and your hair only cost $47, that additional $13 will be removed from the 120 fee and it will come down to 107 that is owed at the end on the day of your appointment, okay? If you prefer to purchase your own hair, a minimum of six to seven bundles is required for braid, full, full locks, and twists. I was going to say fox locks, Jesus. Full locks and twists or braids, okay? Um, Amazon is a great option for ordering pre-loop crochet bundles or bundles for loose wave hair is what is needed if you want to have loose wavy hair installed, okay? Now, loose wavy hair or loose hair in general with crochet braids usually lasts anywhere from two to three weeks. Um, but with the braids, the fold locks um, and twists and silicone twists and all of that stuff, that can last anywhere from six to eight weeks. And it also says to assure the client does not wear the protective style for longer than the recommended maximum time, six to eight weeks. Don't go beyond that, <laughs> okay? So that's how you get there. And then if you scroll further down, there is a gallery. So this is one of the styles that I had done in the past, right? Just giving you close-ups, okay? And I do have to adjust some of these, but this is just a library showing you some of the crochet styles that I have done in the past, okay? Moving back up, I'm gonna go back to my service page and we're gonna go further down. So now you know how to select and view the description of all the information and what that service includes. And then you um, request to book if you want to move further into. So each service has an icon at the top. Now we're at the bottom of the page. These three, Lock Detox, Formal Lock Styling, and Protective Styles. If you look, you see it just says book now. The reason why you don't need to request these is because these are what are called add on services as you see added services only okay with the exception of protective lock styles right because sometimes people just come and they just want to get their stop locks style they don't want to do anything else they just could you put braids in my locks could you put two strands with my locks and i'll do that okay um so the detox Click on the icon, it tells you what it includes. And again, this is something that you can book, book in addition to an appointment. So you can add the lock de detox for a retwist appointment. You cannot book a lock de detox by itself. You can also add a lock de detox if you just come to get your locks washed. I am I have a lot of people that ask me that question. Can I just book an appointment to come and get my locks washed without retwisting my hair? Because I want to make sure my hair is thoroughly cleansed. And the answer is yes. You can book it right here. It says loose natural, lock wash, no retwist. Okay. So the reason why I said loose natural or lock wash, if you have loose natural hair, you can just book to have your hair washed with a very simple style afterwards, like six to eight braid cornrows that's going back or the latest one that I did. She just wanted me to thoroughly treat her scalp and things like that and just put her hair back up in a really nice bun, which I can do. I don't do fancy, fancy styles after a wash. It's very simple styles just so you look presentable when you leave here after getting your hair thoroughly washed. From there, you can take your hair down and do whatever and style it however you please after you've gone home. Um, a, a natural wash is simply me washing your hair, treating your scalp and making sure that everything is good and healthy. And if your ends are 
split or damage trimming those if necessary. Giving you a nice dry, giving you a simple style, and sending you on your way. It's very reasonably priced service, $40. All right. And that's it. So, yeah, if you are one of my lock clients, you can just book an appointment to come and get your locks washed. Okay. If you are one of my clients, if you are a new client and you came in here and you haven't washed your hair in forever, that is a whole different, different service. All right. Sorry for that. That was the alarm. Another added service is formal lock styling. Now, if you click on this again, this is not a one style thing. So then when you go into the description, it gives you a list. Styling is an added service for lock appointments. It takes from 30 minutes to 90 minutes to complete. Depends on what the style is. And like, again, one of the styles takes longer than 90 minutes. So I made sure I put that in there. Time will be adjusted according to the style request. All you have to do generally is put in the notes below, right? And there's a list of styles that I have down here. You got the curl rod set, bridal styles, the fishbone, French braid with or without curls on the end, barrel twist with the ends out, barrel twist all the way to the ends, pedal locks, which is like the little loops, right? <clears throat> Lock bob. Lock knots, Bantu knots. These are different things and you see in the parentheses next to it what it's going to cost. Now, bridal styling is a complete service and it starts at $100 and it really comes down to the styling that you choose when I do the styling portion that's going to fluctuate and adjust how much that costs is going to be in the end. If you scroll further down, there's a small gallery here. This is my client, Susan. Um, and this is a style that I did in her hair when she was participating as a bridesmaid in her friend's wedding. They were all required to wear their hair to one side with the curls straight down. I know her friend was probably worried, well, you have locks. I wonder how, you know, that's going to turn out. Well, Tammy took care of her. So this is her hair. I had been... Last summer, when she went on a cruise, I did a lock bob in her hair, and she wanted it layered, so that's how we did it. This is Donna Lee. She had um, barrel twist, but I got to adjust this because it's not even showing in the picture, but her makeup is fierce, though, right, ain't it? So this is the backside of the um, the bridesmaid that is on the, the top cover photo of this service. And her hair is in the French braid. It starts at the front side over here and it wraps around. And at the bottom, I put petal loops, you know, and the front quarter side of her hair, I did spiral drop curls. So it just hung beautifully the other side. All right. And this is her on her wedding day, which was just a few months after that. So she wanted to updo, and that's what we did. So her, she has like kind of pen curls, you know. And the funny thing is, I did her hair days before her wedding because we were both going away. She had a destination wedding, and it was at a time while I was going to be away um, on vacation. So before I left to go on vacation, I did her hair, and she covered her head and kept it up all the way up to her wedding day. And this was, she was a beautiful bride. <laughs> this was me. I did a lock bob on my hair. This was last summer, I think. Love this part with the silver hair. This is the first time I did a lock bob. It's a little bit longer, right? Because this one is more like um, asymmetrical, like one, one side is longer than the other. Uh, that's an updo, kind of a combination barrel twist up into a bun with also twisting her lock. So once you take it down, she still has the protective style in. So this is a combination of protective style and sort of fancy style for her. 
These are barrel twists with the ends out. These are barrel twists that's um, all the way to the end. And that is it for that gallery. So we're gonna close this out. The final one is protective lock styles. There's two protective lock styles, two primary protective lock styles. That's either the two strand twist, which you see here on the icon picture, or lock braids. Okay. So now I spoke about seasonal services. Now, what's currently posted here on my service page is the back to school special. The back to school special is something that I decided to do for students that's going back to school. It provides the service as a full service um, for either crochet, for faux locks, braids, selling a knees twist, you know, no loose hair, but faux locks, braids, and twist for um, crochet and or natural braids to your hair without extensions. This service is a flat rate of $80. It's open to students only from kindergarten to college. Okay. Not for parents. Not um, extended to my lot clients. This service is open from August 20th to September 20th. It provides you with a protective style that is intended to last you six to eight weeks in order to help you transition into your school term smoothly without having to worry about your hair, okay? So if you are interested, just click to book now. It gives you a guaranteed booking and it's a one-time service, okay? And again, it's open to students from kindergarten to college. All right, so please do not bring your two-year-old. Oh, will they go to nursery school? No, I don't do babies here anymore. I stopped because unfortunately, a lot of parents messed that up for everybody because they took advantage and treated it as a babysitting service. Like I would have a parent come with their child and you know, we're in the middle of the session and the parent will be like, oh, I need to run to the store right quick. Um, you mind if I run to the store right quick? And they'll leave to go to the store. An hour will pass, two hours will pass. I'll be done with the child's hair. All right, we're done. Um, you said you was going to the store. And you, oh, I'll be there soon. And now I'm sitting here babysitting your kid waiting for you to come back. And that has happened several times. There's times where people um, have brought their young children and are not watching their kids and their kids have spilled things on my furniture or broken something or, mm -mm. and don't get me wrong, I love children, but if you're not gonna be responsible when you're bringing your children here, then no, we're not doing that. My kids are grown up now, so. If you're not going to be responsible, then I had to remove that service. Now, there are parents sometimes where they have no choice. They have to bring their kids, but they are very well and aware that they have to keep an eye on their kids. And if they have to keep stopping and prolonging the service, it's going to wind up costing you extra because, again, time is of essence. I do have an understanding but you have to make sure you look after your kid. Make sure you bring something to occupy them so you don't have to keep stopping. Be attentive. Pay attention to what they're doing. I always position the parents so they can see what their child is doing at all times. It's not often at all. It's usually like a last minute emergency. Maybe like, oh, um, my babysitter fell through and I'm going to have to cancel. And I'm like, well, you know, if you can keep a close eye on your child. You know, we can try to accommodate that. And they are grateful because a lot of times parents don't even want to bring their little kids with them because when they come to get their hair done, if you decide to become a client of mine, you will understand why my clients love coming here. They love to get their hair done, but it's something, it's so much deeper than that. 
is so much deeper than that. And you will understand that you don't want to, you don't want to bring nobody with you because you will not be able to experience your appointments on the level that you can when somebody else is in your face or in your ear. Trust me on that. My clients will tell you that. <laughs> okay, so that ends this tour. Like I said, stuff that's temporary. After 920, this will be removed. You won't see it. It's not going to be removed. It's just going to be hidden um, and so forth. So that ends our tour of, let's go back to you. That ends our tour of the service page so you understand how to click on the icon or the words of the set of the service in order to see a full description of what that service entails, how much it would cost you for different things. And same thing for if you go into the natural grades, there's a, a list in the description there as well that is going to show you generally the information you need and what you can select and how you can select it. It makes it so much easier for both of us when I have full knowledge of what we're going to be doing when you come to get your hair done. I hope that this was as informative as I wanted it to be for you. And if you have any additional questions or any additional information you think I should add to the service page, please um, express that in the comments below. Thank you again for joining me at Pammy Locks with love. Um, I will see you next time. Tomorrow, Wednesday, 7 p.m., I will be going live. We're doing another Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please um, join us, and I'll be there to answer them for you. Until then, take care. Bye.